Sakai T54 Golden Eagle, a family of South Korean supersonic advanced trainers and light combat aircraft. This is South Korea's first indigenous supersonic aircraft and one of the world's few supersonic trainers. With many advantages, the TA-50 training aircraft and light fighter is becoming the key export product of the South Korean defense industry. Most recently, the Iraqi army received a batch of Kai T-50 supersonic advanced trainers and light combat aircraft under a deal struck between Baghdad and Seoul several years ago. The Golden Eagle was designed based on the firm's experience licensed producing F-16 fighting Falcons. First conceived in 1997, the Golden Eagle drew on design elements of the Falcon and also conceived 13% of its funding from Lockheed Martin. It made its first flight in 2002 and entered active service with the Republic of Korean Air Force in 2005. The T-50 generals were teamed so successful and easy handling that Korea Aerospace Industry decided to produce an upgraded version, the TA-50, that could do double duty as slight attack plan with the ability to use precision guided weapons and a more powerful radar. The T-50A was marketed as a candidate for the United States Air Force Next Generation TX Trainer Program, but failed to win. Korea Aerospace Industries then pushed the design one step further with the F-A-50, an airplane intended to serve as a cut prime supersonic fighter with 4th generation avionics. Compared to the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the T-50 Golden Eagle has many design similarities with a single engine, speed, size, cost and the range of weapons. The generals has seating for two pilots in a tandem arrangement. The high-mounted canopy developed by Hancock Fiber is applied with stretch acrylic, providing the pilots good visibility. The trainer has been tested to offer the canopy with ballistic protection against four power projects impacting at 400 knots. The aircraft is equipped with Messier Dow T retractable tricycle tie landing gear. Each unit is single wheel and fitted with Oleo pneumatic shock absorbers. The main wheels are retracted into the trunks of the engine air intakes. The nose wheel retracts forward. The altitude limit is 14,600 meters, and airframe is designed to last 8,000 hours of service. There are seven internal fuel tanks with capacity of 2,655 liters, five in the fuselage and two in the wings. An additional 1,710 liters of fuel can be carried in the three external fuel tanks. The T-50 Golden Eagle has digital fly-by-wire controls and hands-on throttle and stick. The cockpit display includes two Honeywell multi-function displays, Honeywell instrumentation displays, and head-up displays supplied by BAE Systems. The T-50 version is equipped with ANAPG-67 radar. It offers a variety of air-to-air, air-to-ground, seizures and mapping modes, and compatibility with most weapons used by the US Air Force. TA-50 and FA-50 variants equipped with ELM-2032 radar, an advanced parent doubler, suitable for air-to-air -air and air-to-service modes. The T-50 Golden Eagle is powered by a single-general electric turbofan engine, Thai F-404 GE-102 license products by Samsung TechWin, with full-authority digital electronic control. The engine has twin-side mounted air intakes on either side of the fuselage under the wing. This engine produces a maximum of 17,700 pounds of thrust with afterburner and attains speeds of up to Mark 1.5. This performance isn't impressive compared to frontline jet fighters, but is still capable enough to do the job. The TA-50 light attack variant has a three-barrel cannon version of the M61 Vulcan mounted internally behind the cockpit. 
which fire Lingler's 20mm ammunition. The aircraft has seven external hardpoints for carrying weapons, one on the center line under the fuselage, two hardpoints under each wing and an air to air missile launch rail at the two wingtips. Wingtips rails can accommodate the AIM-9 side wider missile and a variety of additional weapons can be mounted to underwing hardpoints. Compatible air-to-surface weapons include the HGM-65 Maverick missile, Hydra-70 and Logia rocket launchers, CBU-50H and cluster bombs. While the TA-50R to air capabilities are not really feature complete at present, but with the FA-50 version, potential upgrades to the engines, radar and especially air to air missiles suggest that the Golden Eagle may measure significantly in capability over time. The FA-50 already seems poised to see significant use in the coming decades based on outstanding orders for the aircraft. The Republic of Korea Air Force flies over a hundred of Golden Eagles. The Iraqi Air Force has received 12 of a total 24 F-A-50s in a $1.1 billion contract. The Philippines has received 4 of its order of 12 F-A-50s. Manila has yet to acquire the Maverick and Sidewinder guided missiles the airplane requires to make full use of its capabilities. Indonesia finished receiving 16 TA-50 jets in 2014 at $25 million apiece. They are intended to serve in the light attack drone as well as training. Thailand received four T-50 trainer in 2018 to replace its OL-39 armed forces. There are also many other potential buyers from Asia and South America, signaling a bright future for South Korea's Golden Eagle. My video of T-50 Golden Eagle ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting. Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.